It is time right now for our first grocer, Tony Tantillo. It's Tony's table. He's warming up the pan here. We've got some yummy sausage and peppers. Yeah, sausage cooking. and pepper. You know, what kind of day today. So I said, you know what, sausage right. and pepper. It's kind of but gloomy out there. This is not your traditional. No, of sausage course, because you're peppers. making it, Tony. I'm making it a little bit differently. Although, you know, the tradition with the green peppers, the mm -hmm. onions, and the Italian sausage mm. over a roll. I mean, in the roll, nice sandwich. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. But I decided I went to the store today. And I saw these beautiful peppers that we're going to use. Now, these became popular just in the last few years. Yeah. They're sweet peppers. They're small. There are very little seeds in here mm -hmm. in the peppers. That's why there's not a lot of heat to them. But the colors are beautiful. Each one has a different texture and a different flavor. And you can eat them by the hand just like this. Right. Oh, they are incredible. When you buy them in the store, look for the color. If the color isn't bright, don't buy it in those bags. You can look in the bags. We'll look very yeah, carefully. Yeah, they come all three in, in yeah, one bag. Yeah, all in one bag. Make sure, not every one of them, but generally all the, the stems are nice and green. When you bring them home, put them in your fridge right away. Now, shelf life on these are not that long. Mm, okay. Five to seven days at the very most. So buy them and enjoy them. Because the longer you keep them in the refrigerator, the more that nutritional value and their loaded nutritional value will start to deplete. So we got here, we got some... Cheese stuffed sausage. Let me turn the heat down a little bit. And this is chicken sausage, chicken right? Chicken sausage. I took it to a whole different level. No fatty <laughs> Italian pork sausage. So, and we've got all with some white onions. Okay. Sweet white onions we yes. use. We don't have to cook them up that much at all. And this chicken sauce we cooked before, we put it in there. Then at a low heat, we added the peppers because these do cook rather quickly. Okay. Add some pepper to it. I don't want any salt because there's salt already. In the sausage. In the sausage. Okay. The whole thing in there. There Perfect. it goes. Now, I'd like you to add a little bit of parsley to okay, give it some a color and a little bit chop. of flavor. Perfect. You can just put it all in there. All of this? Oh, well, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I think I think we're, uh, a little bit more. Good. Good. Okay. We're gonna roll that in there because we put the Italian parsley in there last because we want to get some of the oil from that parsley in there mm -hmm. and give it a color. Might I give it a little bit more? A little Why not? Parsley. Okay. I love that flavor that chicory flavor could give out. Perfect. Now, this could be great in a sandwich. It could be great even if you want to add some pasta to it. Oh, that sounds great. But just like this is also... Plate it up, Tony. Delicious. Look how pretty. Yeah, you're right. Those bright colors of the peppers make it yes. so yummy. Look at that. All right. And then Let's take in. Go in. I get a serving spoon. And enjoy. <laughs> now, what I did also with the peppers is I added some beginning, then I added some to the very end. I give you two different types of texture and crunches. Mm. Okay, we did. I like it. Thanks, Tony. Mm. You can see Tony Tantillo's EO proof. I proof. <laughs> Tony's fresh uh, grocery reports every weekday right here at KCAL 9 News at noon.